Okay, so hi everybody, you survived the movie. Uh, this is just a Q&A, whatever you want to ask, you want to share your uh, experience, what you felt, um, comments about the film itself, um, you know, anything that inspired you, what you like, what you didn't like. If you have something that you didn't like, you know, uh, I'm, I want to hear about it, uh, you know, to, you know, but be constructive, you know, like what's, what can we do with that? So, uh, so who wants to share, start sharing and we'll go from there. Uh, you can raise your hand, like I said earlier, and then I will unmute you and then you can ask me whatever question you would like. So Katharina, I just uh, I just unmuted you. <clears throat> it's a little slow, so bear with me. Oh, I had to unmute myself. Yeah. Okay. So, would you like to share, or do you have questions? If you have questions, post them on the Facebook or raise your hand. Um, yeah, I, I loved it. I was really in it for the first minute till the end and I uh, love to go and try this uh, myself and uh, uh, try this in daily life, be more focused, be more in the moment and be more um, in the love. Uh, that in general already uh, uh, helped me a lot. And then I had a question. Yeah. Uh, what was her name again? Um, Which was one? Rachel or? What, uh, what, what experiment or what? Uh, what? Um, um, she was the one with the um, uh, little paper uh, uh, with her hands on it and trying yes. to uh, get yes. it turned. Yes. Um, and you were telling about it. Uh, and uh, you you were outside and she was uh no no it was the other one i'm sorry i'm sorry she had the the other lady who had to uh, uh remote, viewing, re remote viewing experiment yeah exactly yeah. and um i loved it i loved it how quick she was and and uh, but you said already she was talented and my question was how did you block that she couldn't see ah. that she <laughs> i hope because i did your lessons so I hope that I um, that you did something with your sacral uh, space, and that you blocked it on anything like that. But yeah. I'm I'm just feeling, and I'm just um, yeah trying yeah, to exactly uh, yeah uh huh yeah. So of course you studied with me. I recognize your name. So of course um, you know you know the connecting to source. You know the shielding, uh, which works with um, you know all kinds of interference or attachment or whatever of course she wasn't attaching but i mean it's kind of the same principle with the specific intent that anything coming from her uh, would be would bounce off that i would be invisible to her so this is what i did and it was incredible and and um what was mind-blowing is the starbucks coffee thing i mean that was like in crazy because that wasn't part of the program uh you know and the guy told us before we left, they, they said, you go straight to the target. And then I was like, so when we were in the car, I, um, I, told, the, I told the guys you know, who were driving, I said, hey, I'm dying for coffee, can we stop? And, but Paul told us we can't stop, we have to go straight to the target. And, and I said, if there's no line, we'll just go real quick in the, in the, you know, in the uh, what do you call that, drive through and leave. So that way, like, you know, we'll erase it from our consciousness or something. So, so we drove by and there's nobody there. And so we picked it up real quick and just went to the target and she got it. I mean, that was like mind blowing. What did you guys laugh? I mean, it was like, anyway, all right. So let's see who else. Um, <clears throat> Sue. Uh, you are unmuted. Go ahead and, and uh, comment, share, whatever you like. I, well, I enjoyed it all. I'm especially interested in the DNA experiment and how that can impact healing 
the bodies healing us and I, you know i mean i do the healing work and i find myself better with clients than i do with myself mm -hmm. but that i would like i wanted much more i wanted another half hour on the implications of this so we saw that the dna was altered but i would have appreciated and probably in the days to come you can do this but what is the ramifications of that yeah. you have yeah had to go into more detail about what does that mean um yeah. showing people who do heal themselves or the kinds of um self healings or healings for others that can actually take place i was very interested in that yeah so um so we we showed an article uh, but of course, Glenn, the scientist that I work with, with the DNA, I've done many experiments on the DNA, by the way, with him, uh, in person, long distance, all kinds. So, um, so, so, and I, we, there is an article in the, in the film, but of course it's edited, you know, maybe you have to pause it, but whatever. Mm -hmm. The point is there was a research done and, and the DNA winds and unwinds and winds and unwinds. And when it does that, it kind of, that's how it kind of operates. And they found that uh, when you are functioning at a higher vibration, like if you are a meditating or something, instead of doing this motion, it's not exactly this, I'm just exaggerating, this linear motion, it turns into a torus motion, which is very interesting. And so it starts to kind of, uh, have this torus effect with the zero point as you guys know and when it does that you know it starts to repair itself and so this is like self-heal and of course you the guys who you guys who have studied with me understand that that is reshaping the structure around the central point the zero point of its geometry this original geometry that is the reason why it kind of re uh, goes back to its original um, a proper shape and that is uh, and that creates the proper rotation vibration and eventually it kind of uh, that's why it eventually self uh, corrects itself itself and so um, <clears throat> the article that's in the movie um and you can look it up uh, the i think this is california uh, what is it caltech or something uh they mm -hmm. did a specific study and they noticed that other the, this unwinding other than that is when you speed up the electricity the electrical conductivity it does the same thing and so <clears throat> and so they realized that there's a correlation between the electrical conductivity going it through the DNA and the ability to self repair. They did like they did a correlation, mm -hmm. you know, and so, so that's the reason why. And what does, what does this mean? This is very interesting for you guys who are healers and doing all this energy work. So it's like, think about this. You are increasing the electrical conductivity, meaning the electricity, going into your cell right so you're adding more more flow you know but in order to do that the resistance lowers you see when you when you lower the resistance the electricity speeds up isn't that interesting that mm -hmm. you know, does that make sense you're it's like you have to um uh, uh, the correlation between resistance and conductivity is also um how should i say coherent so so uh but but even on a like on a metaphor on, on a kind of a concept it's almost like you have to uh release the resistance the forcing in mm -hmm. order for the for the speed the motion to uh to come back and this whole concept of raising your vibration you know like what are you raising because you're adding more speed in that electrical conductivity in the tissue. Do you see kind of how interesting that becomes? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Forcing doesn't work. Exactly, exactly. So when you let go and you relax, when there's less resistance, there's more electricity. Mm-hmm, a lot of trust. Exactly. And, and when you're letting go on the zero point, then, then everything flows back. Mm -hmm. 
own shape. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much. Oh, who else? Let's see. Um, I'm going to scroll down. Who else? So raise your hand if you have a comment or question. It's a very long list, but I can see when you raise your hand. <clears throat> I can also see some of the, the, the questions that you're typing in the chat, uh, but I would love to hear your voice. Um, let me see. Anka, okay, let's see. Be hard. Hey, be hard. How are you? I'm doing very well. <laughs> uh, so please let us know share questions whatever yeah i, I watched it exactly uh, just before we started i watched it uh, one more time it's really amazing this movie and um it's it has to be seen by many 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 people because it's so convincing of all the different aspects so you cannot get around it that consciousness is, is moving everything yes and what i loved i loved also in the beginning when he said that the universe is, is rotating and everything is rotating. Yes. That Isn't was that so beautiful. Yeah. 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 And I thought like you were talking, just talking about resistance. And if we, if our resistance is, is gone, then we simply move, rotate ourselves or everything in ourselves rotate in the same sequence of the universe. So that it all becomes one. Exactly. So it's, uh, it's an amazing picture. Yeah, exactly. Um, so hold on, it sound, it looks like I'm not, uh, live on Facebook, which I thought it was yesterday. We tested it. <laughs> so trying again, William, it's saying preparing to stream live one second, guys. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Cause, uh, we said it would be on both. So for the people who blah, 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 da, 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 go live. Okay. Title. I don't care about the title. Go live anyway, here we go. Okay, let me know now, William, if we are on Facebook. Okay, so yeah, you see, um, uh, that's what I feel, you know, with this, with this movie. It's like, there's so many concepts that, you know, we deal with every day. Um, yeah, I can see myself live on Facebook. William, can you please confirm and can you pick up the post? Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, so that's kind of what I'm trying to do with this film is to not just keep talking like, you know, we know our intent does this, we know our intent does that, but I wanted to not just keep repeating that. I wanted to show how uh, it actually does that. And so uh, to, for all of you who have been doing energy work and you know, to be, begin to believe that it is having an effect. You're not crazy. Um, and, uh, and this is how, and this is why. So hopefully this is working. Um, okay, Elena, you're on. Do you have a question or comment? Elena, let me see. I thought I unmuted you. Unmute. Can you speak, Elena? Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Perfect. Um, so, hi, Caroline. I love the movie. Thank you so much for all your work that you're doing. Um, I loved especially the part uh, where um, one of the people was talking about the consciousness and its place uh, sort of in the, uh, the grand scheme of things and how it is the proto, um, I can't remember the term, proto matter, proto energy, that it is not even... It, it's not even particles it's what's before yeah. all of yeah. that yeah that was amazing yeah um, question that i had i don't know if i'm jumping ahead too early but um i had a question about the blindfold training yeah. uh, just a very specific question when you're training with the blindfold on yeah. does it matter if you're in a well-lit room or if you're in a dim light um if you're practicing to see or perceive the colors and the shapes Yes, excellent question. 
So um, just for you to know, you know, it looks like, you know, kind of easy, but actually it's a, it's a bit of training. I mean, uh, a different, there are different people who use different technologies and I'm also coming up with my own um, because, you know, every, every technique is something that's, anyway. So, so long story short, regardless of what technique, uh, you just have to know that you start always with the light on, like if anything, uh, and your eyes are open. So you start um, with the mask on, the light on, and like light on. But of course, you have to make sure there's no light coming in. Otherwise, you're cheating, obviously. Right. But, um, and and it's all, it's you see, that that's the thing. It's like, even though there's no light coming in, but your brain is still picking up stuff. You know what I mean? That's the point of this training. And so it's picking up light, even though there's no light coming in, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why you want to start that way. And then you gradually start to see some things. Uh, usually the peripheral, the peripheral uh, vision comes first and different people see different things better. Um, so that's kind of how you do it. And uh, so it's usually like a five day, like, full-on intensive training and then you have to keep practicing you have to realize that it doesn't like just like anything especially that it's new you are rewiring your brain to do something so that's why people who are taking this web this uh web workshop uh with me or with other instructors um you know be prepared it's it's intensive work but it does so much stuff like it's like you like all kinds of stuff starts to happen. Like you realize some things, stuff comes up for you. Uh, you notice things that you could do that you couldn't do before. You know, it's, it's very interesting uh, training. So I highly recommend it. All right, cool. Thank you for sharing. Okay, um, Mark, uh, I'm trying to take some of the, some of the uh, printed questions as well, written questions. The experiment from mind over matter with the aluminum foil on a needle under glass. How do I start best to clear the mind and focus? Okay, so you know, of course, this 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 session is is not teaching; is more Q and A, just to give general um, thought, I answer some general questions, but. Um, you know, if you've never trained with me, you can start with the connecting to source, but then uh, I'm going to be teaching a very specific meditation that allows you to not just clear the mind, but focus, like focus very, very, very specifically on the target. And, and, and like I said, there's a lot to it. It's not like different people do it different ways, but I know how I do it and how it, it, it works. But, um, so it's not like you focus on something and you intend it, you know, it's like move or, you know, some people do that. In fact, with, with the spoon bending, sometimes it helps to say move or bend or whatever. So I'll be teaching different techniques, but the technique that I will be teaching in the workshops uh, and down the road uh, will be specific for you to focus on the target and then keep adjusting what you need to do exactly at that time as the target is responding. For example, actually I have a, here's one of the setups, the others are under glass. So, so for example, um, so, so do I, do I focus on it and just tell it to turn or do I focus on the wind underneath it and make the wind make it move? You see what I mean? Or do I, so there's many there, or do I increase like the, the, uh, the electromagnetic field coming out of my body? So there's like different ways of affecting between your consciousness and this object. Um, and that's the reason why you have to like keep um, focusing on what is happening and where you need to adjust and what's working and what's not working. And um, that's why. So, I, so I'm not gonna teach like a whole, sorry, whole meditation technique right now. Uh, that's what's coming in the workshops. And um, I'll do probably some stuff online as well, but right now we're just do, doing live uh, workshops because for example, with the blindfolds or with the other training, you just have to be there. You know, it's like hard, even though these are small groups, uh, I don't want to have super large groups where you, you can't even like ask a question. 
So um, if, you, if you're interested, uh, sign up to one of the workshops at least, and the, or if you want to wait until we do them online down the road, it's up to you, okay? So let's see who else. Uh, Carla, your line is open. Do you have a question, Carla? Hello? Okay, your line is open. I guess not. Okay. Uh, let me see, be hard. Yenike, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Yenike? Yes, Yenike, yeah. Hi, Yenike. Caroline. Hey, how are you? Oh, my Dutch yeah. friends are here. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice that we can hear each other. It's very yeah. good. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, I, loved, I loved the film a lot. Uh, thank you so much for all the work. And um, yeah, what I love a lot is, is your, your clear, clear... Um, yeah work of of the bridging spirituality and science i really love that i love that in all your work but in this film i can yeah what we heard also said it's like for a lot of people accessible and no way go, yeah to go around it so i really love it um i have two questions one is um um what uh the the, the man uh, i don't remember his name with the remote viewing um yeah. experiment mm -hmm. uh he he like responded to rachel when she was saying uh superhuman abilities he was responding in a way like well i think it's not superhuman it's like it it's normality so uh, and that like kind of triggered something that I, I want to ask you why you chose to call the film superhuman as well i also think <laughs> in, in you you like it, it, it is yeah. to become the new normal isn't it yeah you know what we you know there's a when we're creating a film and we're trying to kind of also attract more mainstream people not just believers you know like uh, yeah you know and just kind of take it to the next level um you know so, so a lot of there are a lot of factors that start to happen you know it's like uh what title you know what what rings interesting what what you know triggers uh like you know intrigue or whatever so superhuman feels very like there's as you know this whole superhero everybody wants to be a superhero there's all the movies about superheroes so so i think it was just a way to attract a little bit more of the mainstream um you know while keeping it like i didn't want to go like supernatural which is like or you know so uh it just felt like the most inviting and fun uh, title instead of saying like the new consciousness or something so you know so that's really the reason nothing more <laughs> yeah course, cool that we're all superhumans in fact that's that's what i also wanted to do in the film like i didn't want to just show i didn't want to be the only one as you saw and i didn't want to just show like qigong masters or something i wanted to show like anybody everyday people from all ages, all countries, from all over the world. Um, and also, um, I wanted to, to show even people like for the first time. That's why I, I, I said I, I can invite people that have, have never done anything like this. Let's see what happens. So exactly to the point to show that uh, this, is, this is something that so many people are doing. Like, what are we waiting for? Let's just do it, you know? So, so that's kind of the reason. <laughs> Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, great, great. Thanks. Yeah. Well, well, you succeeded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I wanted to say superpowers, I would have specifically just like focused on only certain groups of people who do like some Zen meditations and some Tibetan. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I hope, I hope this came across that it's like, hey, normal people, everybody, everywhere, everybody's doing this. Let's do this, kind of. Yeah, totally. It is really, really inviting. I'm like, I, I want to start soon with my kids to do the blindfold uh, experiments. And it's, yeah, it's fun. It feels like fun and it's really inviting. So it's, yeah, yeah it came across very clear to me. <laughs> anyway. Good. 
That's exactly, yeah. that's why. And superhuman is fun. Like, let's all be our own superheroes, kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah. For, ki for kids, by the way, you can, um, you can start, you can teach um, kids, you can learn to teach kids without you uh, doing it perfectly, just for you to know. So there's a training that, a three-day training that you can learn to teach children, even if you haven't perfected the, the blindfolds yet. So if you're interested in this, you know, I'm going to be posting more uh, workshop um, locations and different kinds of, of you know, things. <coughs> uh, you just let me know. So these are very small groups because we can't have, because you know, like it's a more, it's almost one-on-one -on -one because we can't have like 300 people and then, you know, so, so that's why as soon as you, if you're interested, let me know. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. And I have uh, another question. Um, uh, like, like twice or, well, there were some hints towards the pineal gland, like in, in, the, in, the, in the beginning of the movie, there's like an image of a, a human uh, head with, with a, like a third eye, a, a big open yeah. third eye. And like later on, uh, towards the end, there's the image of a brain, a blue brain. And, and uh, there, the, the pineal gland uh, like really lights up. But you're not What's naming it. What's the question? Um, what, like to me, all these abilities is like it's like it falls or stands with opening and switching on the, the pineal gland, and like it's all, it's all about uh, the pineal gland. So I, I, not I just, it's not just the pineal gland; it's the full brain capacity. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, but I, uh, I was just wondering why the, the pineal gland is not, yeah. Got, yeah, it's not really gets attention, really. Well, well because it's not. In fact, uh, there are other scientists who are working on uh, is a with the technology of brain imaging, and they're finding the four parts of the brain that is um, becoming very activated when you're like um, speaking to an extraterrestrial or something, or like tapping into other realities or doing things like that so and that's at the center of the brain it's not it's i mean the pineal gland gland has a role in it but it's not the only thing so okay thank you ah, thank you awesome okay let's see william if you have um anybody from facebook to see if they would like to um also join let me see who else. Annette, I will take this one and then next we'll go to Facebook. Annette, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's oh, all yeah. Netherlands folks are here first. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, I am, first of all, I want to say that it was really, really, really good to see finally this documentary. Um, because I've been busy with this kind of things already many, many years, but only on my own uh, amateuristic level. Um, and my, can I, can I have, can I put, ask my question now? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. because I, 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 I don't, I see a black screen at this moment. Okay. Um, well, it's about self-healing. I'm busy with it already a long time for my own health. I have chronical Lyme disease in the brain. And <clears throat> I'm having these treatments of uh, um, vibrational uh, frequency and sound uh, med uh, medicine, if that's the right English. Yeah. Term. And so I'm, I, I know about this, but what I'm trying to do, um, and I was also seeing this in the documentary, um, or in the film, um, is they were talking about a healing um, or um, communicating with your own cells, with your brain cells, in order to uh, let them be healthy again. So um, full of oxygen, full of uh, light. But uh, there is, um, I would like to know how you can do this, because for me, it doesn't work the way I do it. Do you, are you studying the Omnia method? Yeah, yeah, sure. But I don't feel or see any difference in my um, 
condition. And uh, it's full of neural toxins. And I, I'm now thinking, really, I can do more. And that's what I really like to know. But I, I think there's a, and that's also the question, do you have to be in a certain kind of meditative state in order to do this? Is that maybe? Oh, you know, I don't know how much of my uh, method you've been studying, but, you know, it tells you, kind of, it walks you through um, the whole kind of thing, you know, what kind of meditation, what, how to recognize, discern the root cause of the problem, um, mm -hmm. how to reverse all the different techniques. So um, I think you need to go deeper into this. And for those who are listening, on my website, carolinecorey.com, uh, just, <coughs> just go to the tab, um, uh, online classes, and, and see, you'll see the, um, the, the, healing, the healers, math, um, healers program, and you'll see there's three modules, and there's all kinds of um, stuff there. You just have to go through deeper in the training. Okay, Carla? Awesome. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, uh, whoever, if you have more questions on Zoom, raise your hand or comment. Um, otherwise, let me see, are there more hands or comments? Um, otherwise, William, if you want, can you unmute, can you... Um, Can you, okay, nothing new on Facebook, same questions. Hi, uh, what is the best way to teach kids, kids seeing blindfolded? I loved your film. It opens the possibility, the ones that watched it. Um, is it the same as midbrain activation? Okay, so again, there are different people teaching different techniques. So uh, there are people in, uh, in Mexico, for example, uh, I actually did not um, uh, interview them, but I know they have a different technique. There are people in India also who, who do something different. So I think the people in India uh, talk about the midbrain activation. But to be honest with you, it almost doesn't matter. It's almost like you go through the training and then the, the brain follows what you are telling it to do. And so that's the reason why I think you, um, you, you just have to kind of go through the training yourself if you're interested or um, go through the training to teach somebody else. Even because even when you teach somebody else, you learn so much. And so that's, that's why I knew that was going to be the reaction. And even when we were filming, the crew was like, oh, my God, I want to teach this to my kids or I want to do this myself, you know. And so um, that's the reason why I organized all these workshops uh, just for people to start learning. So go to the um, superhumanfilm.com, go to the workshops and see what's posted there. And we're going to keep adding um, new specific workshops for blindfolds um, and so the more we have requests okay hey Marsha how are you your line is open oh I'm muted yeah here you go go ahead Marsha Sorry. Um, yes, thank you so much for doing this, Carolyn. I've followed you for years, and I'm so glad that you're bringing all this information mainstream. And it's so reassuring to watch this and know that, yes, our energies are affecting things. It just it brought me to tears. Wow, great. Yeah, and the other thing is I have a friend that's going blind. Would using a mindfold help her to be able to see? With different with her consciousness yeah so so we that's why we showed some blind people who use this technology and were able to see but you have to understand that different people are blind for different reasons so it depends like if, if you're blind because there's a brain injury it's slightly different sometimes it doesn't work 
or as opposed to if you're going blind because of age or because of cataract, I mean, not cataract, you know, some, you know, degenerative disease or something like that. So, so it's really case by case. And because these are very small groups, like I said, this is almost one-on-one, -on -one, they can send us uh, their specific, you know, if they want to go through the training, but it's training and it's work, you know, it's, it's like learning Braille. I mean, like, you, you know, Braille, like you just have to learn, you know, you have to kind of understand how it works and how to do it and practice yourself and eventually you can do it. So case by case, you have to send the specifics about that person's condition so that, you know, we can say yes or not, or, you know, we can make recommendations. Okay. So, <laughs> let's see. Sorry, there's more questions. Let's take, let's take uh, more questions from Facebook. Oops. Oops, what's that? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, back. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is from, Ka oh, uh, the work, of, oh, sorry. Somebody is saying, the it's so small, I can barely read. Uh, the, the work of Colin Harrington was super interesting. When you hear our voice, do you get it visually like Colin's machine showed? Uh, so interesting information in the whole movie and thing, uh, things we can bring into practice daily. I'm thinking, um, of the other man who worked with Karina Smirnoff when she said uh, she said her favorite color was yellow yeah and the screen turned yellow do you guys saw that but the children who were using mindful seem gifted and sensitive with parents who acknowledge that in them okay so I don't know if there's a question um, but I just wanted to share with you that with Karina I mean, literally, it was like mind blowing because, you know, don't forget, we're doing this live. We're not faking, like we're not, you know, like make believe that, you know, uh, and then just showing you the stuff that we want you to. I mean, this, we, this is how we ran the experiment and it was all live. So sometimes, of course, we would edit it. I mean, it's a movie. Otherwise, you know, you'd be like sitting through the whole setup and everything. But the, the yellow thing was incredible because I actually didn't, didn't know what he was going to ask her, Don. And he said, what's your favorite color? And I was looking at the screen and it was turning yellow. It's, it's incredible. And then when she was saying purple, it was turning purple. And to me, that, excuse me, to me, that was like so incredibly validating that you think of something and it literally comes out as a pattern and as a frequency, color yellow is a frequency. So it's you literally see the frequency that you thought of. So that, I thought it was incredible. So I'm glad you picked that up. Great, awesome. Let's see who else. Bo Dunn, how do you pronounce your name? Welcome. Good day. Uh, yes, you pretty close. It's Bodan. Um, and um, I just wanted to make a quick comment. First of all, thank you for doing the movie. Um, found it very informative. And uh, um, the one uh, piece of advice I'd like to give is maybe towards the end of the movie, a, uh, a summary of, you know, what, what are the next steps? Um, I'm also a, a certified InfoVision instructor. I was trained by Michaela and Mark, uh, Michaela from Romania. And I've already worked on probably 20 children. I'm only certified to, to work with children. Um, your comment about, um, you know, the type of blindness that needs to be worked on or there's only certain type of people. Um, with my experience and with Mark's and Michaela's experience, Anybody can, uh, anybody can be, uh, I don't want to use the word cured, but anybody can be uh, helped with this InfoVision. There's three things you need. Number one, you got to believe in it. If you don't believe in it, it's not going to work. Number two, you have to want to do the work. Um, just like riding a bike or driving a car, uh, you need to practice it. And, um, and number three, uh, you have to want it. If you don't have three of those uh, um, 
things, then this uh, InfoVision will not work. So um, I too have seen absolute miracles. Um, I, I, I'm a practitioner, I work with kids. I see it with my own eyes. Um, I've trained my daughter to do it. And um, I still can't believe it. Yeah. But, um, and again, I practice it. Yeah. The point I wanted to make is that uh, um, I think you made a comment about using your brain and, um, and how we still don't know how to do this and how this is somewhat unbelievable. But the analogy I wanted to use is, let's say we're all sitting around a campfire 500 years ago and um, I gave you the concept of using a cell phone, using technology. Now, 500 years ago, you'd probably burn me at the stake because, first of all, there was no electricity. The, the, you know, we didn't understand the concepts of, uh, uh, of um, electricity and so on. And with this InfoVision, what I wanted to also mention, just like uh, electricity and all that, is you don't really need to understand it yeah. But just like a cell phone, you just need to know how to use it. Because I'm, I can't build a cell phone, but I can know how to use the cell phone. So again, uh, I just wanted to make those quick comments about InfoVision. Um, because uh, again, I practice it and I've seen the miracles happen. So again, thank you for uh, um, doing the movie and um, uh, bringing, it, uh, br bringing the conscious awareness of that gift that we all have. Yeah, so again, absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing this. Bodan, where are you located? I'm in Toronto, Canada. And, um, and uh, kind of funny, really quick thing is, uh, it was by absolute fluke, I ran into Michaela and Mark, who uh, were teaching this. I saw it on the internet one time, and they happened to be in Canada teaching it. So I joined one of their seminars. But again, uh, fantastic. Thank you. So that's great if uh, because we're going to be adding a lot of, um, you know, classes and workshops, uh, if you'd like to facilitate for children, send me an email as well, since that's what you do. You do, you teach children, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, if you're interested, I mean, obviously, because, because, I mean, we, we're going to need, I, I, I have a feeling, oh, so what you said uh, about what to do next. So you just have to realize and understand Sometimes we are restricted by the distribution companies and certain platforms when you put a movie out. Um, uh, you can't put it's like links, you can't put like a call to action, like if you are blah, 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 call this, not, you know what I mean? Like, so, so the film itself, uh, we have s some restrictions. We're still talking to distributors and platforms, but just for you to know, um, and that's why we're building a whole community. Uh, you're going to be getting messages from us. Like we have um, uh, forums. We were building forums and communities and uh, classes. And my university, actually, that for those who have been studying with me, um, Omnium University is now going to be much more uh, en encompassing of all of these new techniques. And a lot of it is online. Um, and of course, some of it is, is live. And so, you know, and I, I can't do everything. So I, I need other instructors, other facilitators as well um, to help facilitate. So that's the reason why um, I'm answering your first question, like, you know, what, what, what to do next. Um, but I think even without that, it's still triggering the response that I wanted, which is, when people are seeing it, they're saying, where do I learn this? Where do I send my kids? How do I do this? Right. I can do this. So it's already having that effect anyway. Um, and so, so that's, that's kind of, and also, and to answer the question about the, the brain. Yeah. Like, like you were saying, for those who asked before, so you don't have to, don't worry about the mechanics because when you focus on, oh, I'm going to open the pineal gland and then this blah, 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 blah. It almost doesn't work because you're so focused on the engineering part that you're not just in the experience itself. And so, so I would say uh, that's kind of, for me, in my experience, how it, how it works as well. So Bodan, thank you so much. And again, if you're interested, send me an email 
about facilitating children. Thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, just one more, one more yeah. quick thing I wanted to mention is I heard you on Jimmy Church. Yeah. That's how I connected with you. And uh, it's, it's, you know, such a small world. Like yeah. I'm a follower of Jimmy Church. Uh, you just happened to interview Mark and Michaela and uh, we're talking here. So, either, you know, you know, there's no coincidences. Everything has to happen when it's supposed to happen. Exactly. So again, uh, thank and you. Absolutely. And this is what I'm trying to do with this film is I feel like we need all the people who have been trying different healing techniques and doing energy and blah, blah, blah. First of all, it's to empower you. Like, it's like, let's st stop questioning. It is, it works. It is, this is a science and let's just do it. Like, let's just be out there teaching this to everybody doing this ourselves uh, in this big community way and not worry about what, what, who, what he's gonna say, what she's gonna say. I'm telling you, people who are non-believers, who are like, who think all the stuff is like a new age woo-woo stuff, are looking at this stuff and they're like, I don't know how he did it, but it worked, you know? So, so this right. is, you know, so this is, this is happening. So this is what I want to do with this film. This is not my film. This is, I mean, it is my film, but I mean, this to me, it's, it's the energy I feel that was needed or is needed now to help us build on that and go out and do more. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the great. Thank you. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to quickly mention, I'm not sure how many, if you have a couple, uh, 30 more seconds, but uh, one of the things I always test myself is like, I, I, I run two businesses, I have a family, I have a house, I, dr I know how to drive a car. I'm still not imagine. I, 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 I check my reality daily to make sure, quote unquote, I'm not losing it. And at the same time, this is happening. Yeah. So for those people that believe, that think, oh, this is all woo-woo or this isn't real, well, just do a reality check on yourself. And if you start, if it starts, if it's still, uh, these things are still happening, well, they, they work. Uh, so I, I take it, uh, you know, being a business person, I look at things very practically. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a practical uh, thing that we all have. Again, just like uh, reading or writing a book or riding a bicycle or driving a car, you have to learn it. And yeah, once you learn it, uh, the miracles happen. Yeah. It's, un, it's just, I can't, I still, like I said, I still can't believe it. I practice it and I see it with my own eyes. So yeah. again, thank you for taking my comments. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very helpful. We needed your comment. So um, this is just fascinating and I'm so happy to be meeting all these people. I feel like we need to come together and build this incredible platform and also like stop worrying about what people say or think, you know, like, like I work with a lot of scientists, you know, of course in the film, it's the ones who believe in it, obviously, but I also meet other scientists and then like off the record or off camera, like they'll be saying, uh, you know, they'll be telling me all these experiences they have. And then when, when, you know, on camera or when it's official, then it's like, well, uh, anyway, whatever. The point being, you know, so, so that's why with the telekinesis, uh, what, what I wanted to demonstrate because people are saying, oh, you know, her hand are making heat or whatever. Yeah. But you'll see, if you practice telekinesis, you'll know that heat will, of course, it's thermodynamics, uh, will trigger um, the emotion on the target, but not the kind of behavior that we see with temperature change. It's one of those things like quickly the scientist is going to dismiss it like, oh, it's this or that. But if you do it long enough, you'll notice the difference um, when it is just random temperature being, uh, you know, going up suddenly or something. And when it's really your consciousness, it's one of those things that you're going to experience when you come to the class, to the workshops. Also, that's the reason why I said, okay, if you think it's temperature, or you think it's electromagnetics, well, let's do it under vacuum. I don't know how many people have done telekinesis under vacuum. If you guys know, by the way, send me information. I'm also wanting to gather more and more people and whatever science there is out there um, to continue to build on all of this work. And not only on, under vacuum, 
but long distance as well. Long distance telekinesis, meaning I could affect the piece of paper a thousand miles away uh, to, to rotate exactly at that time, to stop rotating when I'm not, you know, we, I sh we showed you how the experiment is set up. So it's not random. It's, you know, and so, so, I mean, that's crazy. Like how, how is that even possible? And so that's the reason why in the film, there's more and more and more uh, real evidence and real science. Um, and, you know, we can, ch I mean, so my point is of all of this, why am I saying all this? I'm saying this like, so let's not worry about, <laughs> you know, what they think or what they don't think. At this point, there's plenty of science and I can invite any scientist to the lab and for them to see how many hours we set the baseline, how many measurements we took, how long it took and how exactly it moved uh, at that time. And, you know, so I can, we can go through the protocol uh, very um, easily. Okay. So we're taking a question from Facebook. Okay. Um, hi, CC. Thank you for this movie, not just for me, but for the entire humanity, because it shows um, it's, it's not that we are limitless uh, beings. It proves that our consciousness can be used in infinite ways. I use your teachings daily. The movies for me, an eye opener, the energies everywhere can be manipulated to everything you want. Uh, through proper techniques. Uh, friends, here I come. <laughs> awesome. My, my next uh, one of my workshops is in France. I feel also the day after watching the movie that something changed, something healed inside. I'm more focused. So thank you, Caroline. Question. <laughs> is there a difference between using your brain at 100% capacity and being in your full potential at, as every aspect of your being is integrated well i mean your, your question is more of a of a um semantic thing and a conceptual thing it's a, it's a concept like what does it mean to be at 100 percent capacity you know and so um it's more um that's what some people call it you're at full potential i call it at full brain capacity because i can see how the brain shifts from like, like when right now I'm using the English language to speak to you, I can see how my brain is, is like, you know, picking up information from here and there. But if you ask me information about what planet you came from, then my brain has both capabilities. It does something different. It's like it operates differently, 360 degrees in all dimensions and all times of space. And so, so that's the reason why, and, and because also I, specifically teach the technique to go from linear to uh, to 100 percent brain capacity that i call it that way but if i don't know what other people mean when they say you have full potential it sounds more like a concept as opposed to a specific technique does that make sense okay tell us more about your two upcoming seminar in la next on remote viewing what's current yeah so so Take a look at my website, carolinecorey.com, or oh, superhumanfilm.com, which is the website, um, the film website, and go to workshops, and then you will see, um, this is the first one we're doing, um, so I thought we can start with a one-day remote viewing. In fact, Paul is going to be my guest instructor. Um, a lot of my students are probably wondering how come I'm not teaching her, because of course I... I've been doing and teaching remote viewing for <laughs> forever. In fact, that's what the merging is. But um, but I want to also when I feel it's aligned, uh, I feel it's part. It's good to have a different perspective. And in fact, the technique that uh, the government uh, of remote viewing that the government taught is actually very different than what I am teaching and will be teaching you. Um, very different, you will see. Uh, and yet, you saw it in the film, it worked with, with Rachel. And so, um, uh, but I want to expose you to these different um, kind of uh, t teachings or, or techniques so that you can find your uh, kind of your way and decide what works best for you. But also, some things work better for different things. So, for example, 
if uh, the, the remote viewing as taught by the government was to spy, right? So I wanted to know specifically what was in the Air Force base located, the blah, 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 of, of um, in Russia, right? So it's a specific location and I want to have the details on that location. So that, so that is, and it was so detailed that sometimes they could even read a document. I mean, that's like crazy insane, right? So that's one, one way. But I also teach another way where what if, for example, I worked with one time, a long time ago, uh, with the police and it was, where is this kid? Where, where, where is this kid? He was kidnapped. So now I don't have a location, right? I don't, I mean, they said he was taken from this place, but we don't know where he is. He could be in any state, right? So, so how do you do it? It's not the same technique you see, because where do you put, where's the target? And so that's the reason why different uh, remote viewing techniques work for, for different things. The same thing, if I want to know um, if there is a, I mean, government, let's talk, uh, there's somebody who's kidnapped, where did he go? Again, same thing, that's localizing, it's not the same. But also, is the person dead or alive? You know, or did they kill him? Or is he okay? Or is he safe? Those, this type of information works with certain my technique, but it doesn't work with their. You see what I mean? So that's the reason why. Um, so on uh, March 14 uh, is a remote viewing um, government style, and the next workshop I will teach remote viewing with other techniques and different procedures and way to apply remote viewing and merging for different purposes. And then on Sunday, we're going to do telekinesis. We're going to do uh, spoon bending just for fun. Look at my spoons, you guys. <laughs> Check this out. Um, this is just a fun, you know, this is just like a fun thing just to kind of get you to, to believe that um, this one doesn't, it's got some serious thing, but uh, this starts to kind of get you in the in the mode of uh, my mind how my mind actually shapes matter i want to say because uh you know you don't just look at well i mean eventually it's not like you just look at a spoon and then it starts to bend i mean you know maybe in 100 years or maybe in some some cases but uh, but we're going to start um by doing stuff like that and we're going to do telekinesis with um you know, again, you will see, I'm going to guide you through the basic principles during the workshop so that when you go home, you can, you know, take that protocol and continue to practice and improve and improve and improve. So that's the first one in LA. The next one in Utah, for example, like I said, it's different techniques of remote viewing, different, uh, we add on to the telekinesis. Uh, we do remote telekinesis. We do stuff with water. I'm trying to figure out how to practically do that with, you know, so the groups are pretty small. The blindfold groups are like 15 people or something, because like I said, we, but then the, these groups are maybe 50, 60 people, maybe more, a little bit more. But, but I, what I'm saying is so, because I want you to experience, it's not a lecture. Uh, you're all going to be doing, doing all of this and then so that you can uh, go home and practice with all these tools, okay? So but go to also carolinecorey.com to all my events and then you will, um... okay, can you teach the blindfold to teach yoga or dance for kids or adults who are blind? Again, we taught, and Bodan just uh, shared with us, he teaches specifically um, kids and so you can do, you saw in the film, I mean, these kids are riding bikes. I mean, crazy. I mean, you saw them play and you saw them do all kinds of stuff. So uh, yeah, dance, yeah, well, why not? You know, uh, we didn't show dancing, but we showed that there's also boxing. They do all kinds of sports, all kinds of stuff. Um, how can we make this type of work mainstream? Well, yeah, so that, that's what I'm trying to say is that, that's the reason why I called the film Superhuman. That's the reason why I, I showed so many different people from different backgrounds, from all over doing this, just so, but I'm telling you, a lot of mainstream people are being triggered like, 
hey, I want to teach my kid how to do this. And so, so this is happening and I hope you're all going to like join this kind of like fun new community and like, and I, and like I said, I can't do it alone. So you can integrate what you already are doing. Like Bodan, he's teaching. If he wants to be part of one of our, you know, offerings or something, or we refer him to some people. This isn't about like um, us, you know, it's more about coming together and all of us just being out there and doing it, you know? So that's, we're going to be sending you, um, like I said, uh, emails with all kinds of stuff that we're doing and hopefully you'll join and we'll keep brainstorming and adding to our program and so on and so forth. Okay. Alrighty then. Anybody wants to talk on? So anybody would, anybody else would like to share any comments? I think we're going to come to a close soon. Um, William, any other comments? Why don't you get on, hop on, um, hop on Zoom. And if you want to add something about the marketing or, I mean, whatever we're doing, platforms that people can start using. Uh, otherwise, I'm just reading any sort of Facebook. All right, anybody else would like to ask a question or let me see before we close this. Okay, Alaya, go ahead, you're on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey. Hello. Um, I was wondering, so I, I started to cry. The part with the kids, I just started to cry because I was like, I feel like I've always seen things differently and wanted to do stuff like that. So that really touched me and that was really exciting. And I also work in special education and I, I see how that those techniques could help my kids so, so much. And I feel like if like the mainstream, like if I did that in my school, I'm sure that the teachers and parents would be like, wow, I really want to teach that to my kids. And so how do I get certified to do that with kids with a blindfold. <laughs> okay, so like I said, there's different teachers and different techniques. So, so the InfoVision they also teach. Bodan um, is a is a teacher, is a children instructor. But there's also the lady in in um, in the UK who trains parents or teachers. And also, she does it differently. But again, you know, it's like who cares as long as it works, right? And mm -hmm. so, so I don't want to favor one instructor versus, and I teach actually, by the way, uh, children as well. And so um, I don't want everybody to come to me or come to Bodan or Bodan or, or, or whatever. I feel like I want to create a community where everybody, whatever you feel attracted to, I want you to choose it and go for it, you know? And so, um, I think the best way is once we have the, um, the forum, William, you should join the Zoom so you can explain what the forum is or, or how that's going to work. Um, and you can tell me what you're looking for and how you can all connect with each other. Uh, and then we can start creating, like, for example, if there are enough people right now, if I have 10 people right now who want to teach uh, so children, without whether they can see or not, just start teaching children um, in the US, then we can right away organize, um, you know, one, one uh, workshop uh, with, with one of the instructors. And so, so that's kind of what I'm hoping we can do. So send me, I don't know, I don't want people to start sending me because I have like 8 million emails. Uh, so that's why I think we're gonna send you a platform where you can we're going to call it like tell us what you want to learn or something like that and then if you post everything then we'll take all of the comments and then respond i think that's the most efficient right william uh let me know so so does that sound good alaya yes that sounds great i'm really excited thank you so much yeah for sure for sure okay i'll take one more question and then um Hey, Iris, how are you? Oh yeah, and somebody asked if I can do it online or long distance. So 
I'm teaching, for example, one kid. Sorry. Hello? Uh, Iris, yeah, there's so much talking. Is there yes. Hi. No, I just wanted to say that I'm from the Netherlands as well, and I've been trained by Nicola Farmer in her ICU academy. Fantastic. And um, since the moment I came back from that training, I realized how important like scientific validation is uh, to bring this work mainstream. And this urge uh, brought me on the path of like first uh, getting into contact with universities in the Netherlands, but they were not interested, like uh, they didn't want to hear my uh, story. And it brought me on the path of another scientist, Dan Winter. And we started, uh, like, we made first steps in scientific uh, understanding of what's happening in the brains of the children. And we used uh, an EEG sensing headband while the children were wearing the, the mindful mask. Yeah. And it showed incredible, like, um, symmetric images. Um, yeah. uh, left, left to right brain. Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of people talking in the background, so I'm going to mute you. Yeah. Uh, but oh, I know Dan, Dan Winter, and I know the uh, technique that um, the software is using. What is it called again? Fire something. What is it called again, William? Uh, anyway, so, and it does like a Christmas tree thing. So um, we're going to be also um, pro doing all kinds of uh, things like that. Um, I, I met Dan a long time ago. But uh, we're, we're going to be also providing these, um, these programs where you can also see live what is happening. In fact, um, in the workshops, whoever asked me, even in the next workshop, I'm going to show you how your brain waves behave when you are connecting to source or when you are, um, you know, uh, quieting the mind. It's not what you think. It's very interesting. So we are already doing that as well, Iris. So, and also, um, of course, we know Nicola uh, Farmer. So, so she's another instructor who will train people to teach kids. Um, and so, and she's willing to do something in the U.S. as well um, or in Europe. So that's, that's what I mean. I need, uh, William's going to send you uh, a, uh, we're going to send you a place to, for you, to tell us what you want. And again, if you are an instructor, we want to hear from you. I don't want, I mean, I want you to also use this platform to help you, you know what I mean? Uh, to thrive in your work as well. Uh, so now I'm providing validation for something you already are doing, you know? So that's the reason why, um, you know, I want to integrate a lot of different people uh, as much as possible. Okay, so let's see. Tell them we'll update them all by email. Okay, to join the community and then, um, okay, he's gonna, this is William, he's helping me with all the digital, we're, the, the digital university where uh, we're gonna be the X-Men mentioned, <laughs> the X-Men, the superhuman university. Um, so we're, we are putting all that in place and it's all digital. So, the, you know, people who cannot come um, in person can do stuff online. But like I said, so for example, I'm teaching this kid online, blindfold, and it's crazy because first of all, like on the first day, she could see colors. I mean, like, it's crazy. I don't know how old she is, seven, I think. No. Uh, anyway, and uh, and so you have to you also have to use things differently online. Uh, it's not the same as in person. Some things are different. So so that's why we're gonna have yeah fla flame in mind is Dan Winter's thing. Um, we're gonna have different programs in this uh, universe digital university we'll, we're building, and so we'll invite you to join and uh, brainstorm and tell us what you're looking for and then so we can make that happen okay so i think we're good anything else from facebook let's see Doo -doo -doo -doo. oh hannah lore hold on is hannah lore here oh no <clears throat> let me see sheila 
Uh, hey, Caroline, are you giving any teachings about? Yeah, so I've been talking about teaching. Uh, thank you so much for the gift you gave us this wonderful film. I loved it very, very much. Wow, full gratitude to you and your team. I don't know who wrote this. Oh, Claude, Claude Piaget. Uh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> Great movie, Caroline, thank you. I really, really would like to know <clears throat> more about the self-healing. Okay, we answered that question. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> So I think uh, we're gonna close this now. I hope you, I'm very, very excited. Oh, Irena, I love the film, very accessible, made it very understandable. Will you be doing online workshops regarding seeing blindfolded? Yeah, so that's, I already answered that question. Like I said, it's different online and also like you can't have, you can, but it's, it's a little tricky to have an online with many people because, uh, it, it, it's just like really a very personal one-on-one -on -one experience. So we're going to see, that's why I, I, we want as many um, instructors as possible, um, different techniques as possible. Um, and, uh, and then so we can put it all as part of the community. So everybody can have what they're looking for, uh, you know, in this, and then you can use the film as validation or as entertainment, you know, just empowerment and fun. Um, as well in your work. Carolyn, hey Carolyn, love the film, so excited to see how science is beginning to intersect more and more. What well, you have been teaching, the film is super affirming and empowering. Thank you, Caroline, awesome. Hannah Laura, I'm here, Caroline, Hannah Laura, I knew you were here. Do you have a question, honey? Um, hi, Caroline, thank you for all the superhuman work. <laughs> it is. Okay, so Hannah Laura, do you have a question? Otherwise, we're gonna close this. Uh, or you can also email me as well. Anything else? William? Nope. Hannah Laura, you're good? Okay. So, <clears throat> Hannah Laura, just go ahead and email me, sweetie, okay? All right. So, thank you so much. I'm so glad you liked it. Um, if there's also, if you have other ideas or suggestions or, or anything, uh, please uh, look for the email we're going to send you to start, um, like I said, brainstorming. And we're going to have one uh, category where you can tell us what type of workshop you're looking for and also tell us where you're located. That way it gives us an idea, oh, we have so many people in Toronto, well, let's not make it in Las Vegas, you know what I mean? So, um, so that's very helpful. We have two going on in Europe for all the Netherlands people, uh, French or all that. Uh, so look on the website for those details and then also, you should be on our, on our email list, you probably are, so that when we update something, you get it, and then you know what's going on, okay? Thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it, and let's keep this going. Believe in what you're doing. This is real, you know? Let's, let's just have fun with this and use the film to give you the empowerment or whatever you need to build on to continue with your work, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.